Now, welcome back to Cover 2, Hawaii High School Football Weekly. 15 years after walking the line in red and gold as a graduate of Roosevelt, Bruno Mars has returned home for three sold-out shows at Aloha Stadium. And while the hooligan himself tears the house down on night number two, his Rough Riders will take the field in their first ever appearance in the Division II state tournament as Roosevelt faces off with Pac-5, who earned their spot as a result of St. Francis forfeiting their undefeated season for use of an ineligible player. But as Sam Spangler explains, there's good reason for the Rough Riders to expect some uptown funk from the Wolf Pack. That's right, Rob. Before the artist formerly known as Peter Hernandez himself brings his huge hits to the Holly and Halava, his former high school will put on an encore performance befitting the 11 time Grammy winner. Let's take it back to when Mason Morishige was your man, finessing a 38 yard field goal as time expired to give the Rough Riders a 17 15 win over Pac 5 to open the season. Now you can count on me. It's 6 30. They'll be there for kickoff to the rematch Saturday night. And folks, you won't need to wait for hours in a queue for tickets. Reporting for Cover 2, Sam Spangler. And Inner Island hopping to the Big Island for the other Division II quarterfinal game where the BIIF champs of Kamehameha Hawaii earned their spot in the dance by taking down the defending champs of Konawaina two weeks ago, resulting in a home game against Kaimuki. Now for the Bulldogs, it won't be the team's first airplane ride this season. That's green and gold traveled to Las Vegas in September, a valuable precursor to Saturday's showdown. The boys have known this since Monday last week that um, this is a business trip. We fly up there, we take care of business, get back on the plane, come back. There's no celebrating until the end. And so, you know, uh, that's all, all a part of finishing strong and, uh, you know, trying to bring that college mentality because a lot of our boys also have the aspirations to play at some kind of college level. So. Three weeks, and you know, we got three weeks left in the season. And so, hopefully, everything that we've done through our trip to Vegas to now, you know, all plays, plays in their favor. <laughs> 